everybody. So today we have another Galactic Center diary entry. This is another one from Nix from Wales. She has something else that she wrote that she didn't mind me reading. I love how she writes. I really do. So, and I, I feel like she is able to capture the GC very well in her writing, probably doing it much better justice than I could <laughs> if I wrote like, if I wrote poetry. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna read that. But first I wanna mention if anybody wants to, um, to come on and actually share their experience with planets conjunct the GC or opposing the GC or squaring the GC, or whatever, um, let me know, reach out and let me know. Um, or if anybody just wants to come on and talk astrology in general, <laughs> I would love to do that too. Um, yeah, I'd be happy to have you for either one. So, okay, there is a little bit of context here at the beginning. Um, she says, so I just wrote this as my way of dealing, express, dealing slash expressing my feelings around feeling artistically challenged, as well as coming to terms with my mom's illness, which is reflected in the last lines regarding my views on how cancer could potentially be a form of self-annihilation if we don't consciously direct and work with our inner black holes. And I can see, I can see where, uh, I can see where she's going with that just because, you know, the, the GC, right? It does mutate things, right? It, it does mutate anything that happens to fall into it. <laughs> Same thing with, with planets that happen to fall into it and cancer itself is a, is a mutation. So, um, among other things, but that is one of the things that it is. So this actually, that makes a lot of sense to me. Um, some of the images are from my dreams. Okay. Floating and merging black holes. <clears throat> there is a dark well below me. It is far, small and round a black circle of shallow water. Not even a handful can be found. It is calling to me to draw it, to draw out its song. Maybe if I listen, I will find where I belong. Now this, I definitely, I mean, I know she's talking about something else, but I, from with somebody that, from, you know, from somebody me that has a lot of stuff conjunct the GC, I definitely get that. Maybe if I listen, I will find where I belong. Um, my whole, my whole life is, I've been trying to figure out where the fuck that is. <laughs> um, so I definitely, I definitely understand that. I, I, I wonder if any of y'all that have like GC stuff going on in your chart, if you all get it too, uh, perhaps from a different vantage point, but yeah. There are secret waterfalls inside a wall. I find them after throwing urns of sacred water into the streets. Like a shy serpent, I, rec I recoil at my exposure yet yearn for its expansion in its revealing. I'm waiting for the owls in the painting on my wall to fly free from their stuck in time pose, to remember that they are in an animated world. Just as when recollections arise of when someone new enters your life and you look into their eyes, there's an instant recollection as if, pre, as if a predetermined script was written and you just know that they are a part of a co- you just know that they are part of a co-agreed contract. Those times are like a spiral remembering its pattern. And yeah, I fucking feel that too. <laughs> I, I feel that very, very, very much. Um, there are most certainly certain, I mean, there are most certainly certain people that I know I've, I've had in my life um, that while we maybe had just met in this lifetime, it's like on some kind of soul level, it's like, I've known you before. I've fucking known you before. <laughs> and um, you're supposed to do something, you know, with me this time around in some capacity. Um, yeah, those times are like a spiral remembering its pattern. There is a sense of remembering when, when you, and I don't know if y'all have any, experience with that. I'm sure I know some people do. I know some people will know what I'm talking about, but it is, it's like, it's like a remembering when you, when you find people like that, it's like, it's a soul remembering thing. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely is. The stories that confine the space around my heart are black holes orbiting an infinite sun. They long for life, for expression, their, bra their blazing trails of stardust pursuit 
are on an unfathom unfathomable lightning speed journey toward extinction and creation simultaneously. And this is very, this is very GC in nature. I mean, obviously, but just the, the notion that things will be destroyed in the black hole and things will be created from that destruction. Um, yes, <laughs> yes. Only at the last second do I choose its direction, if I choose at all. But the vessel that I am determines its course. A, glob a globular mass of cankerous divided cells and self-annihilation or expanded harmonic cohesion, a dance with existence whose constant call sings me into co-creation. I like that because I do think the GC, well, I do, I, I think the GC really can go either way. Um, it can def, it, it can definitely be, it's kind of what this is saying here. It can definitely be a challenging thing or an easy thing or a little bit of both. It could be a little from column A, column B. <laughs> um, and I think people that have, you know, GC conjunctions, squares, oppositions, uh, probably do understand that, understand what I'm saying. Um, yeah, yeah, the self annihilation thing. It's, um, I know for me personally, <laughs> there's always been a, a very fine line that I've walked between completely feeling like I was going to annihilate myself somehow or create something new. There have been several instances in my life where this has been the case. And it's kind of like you have to choose either way. Sometimes I'll go the annihilation route. Sometimes I'll go the creating route. Sometimes it's a little bit of from column A and column B. Um, but the pull to do something is strong. Um, it's always very strong. So thank you. That was, that was the end of it. Thank you so much for letting me share that. Um, again, I think, I think she writes beautifully. So, so thank you for allowing me that to be able to do that. And, um, one other, <clears throat> one other, this is completely unrelated to, uh, to the GC. Um, and it's more related to the subreddit. Anybody that, well, oh, God damn it. Sorry. There's a <laughs> fucking, I don't even know what that was. A yellow jacket. I don't know. Go fuck right on off. Um, <laughs> um, Okay, that's to do with the subreddit. There has been an upswing in people wanting to post videos of themselves, of, the, of their YouTube channels, um, things like that. That is totally fine. Don't don't get me wrong. That is absolutely fine. Um, because self-promotion is allowed there. Me and Natalie have both. That's, you know, you can totally promote yourself within reason. Um, and one of those within reason is if you're gonna do that, feel free to do that. Um, but if you could help answer questions too, that would be really cool. Um, just so like you're giving what, you know, you're giving as much as you take and taking as much as you give, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, that, that's, that's kind of, it would be nice if, if more people that did this, that, that wanted to promote themselves in some capacity, whether that's their, that's their business or <laughs> readings or, or their YouTube channels, Again, by all means, you're totally free to do this. Um, we're happy to have you do this. Um, but I think we'd both like to see perhaps more participation in other ways rather than just straight promoting yourself. Like, um, and if you have been answering people's questions in the subreddit, then this obviously isn't directed at you. And I'm not gonna name any names, but if uh if you could help answer people's questions every once in a while that would be really cool too um yeah yeah <laughs> um anyway i'm gonna get going but i will see you all later